Item. Things have not gone as planned. Item. Sometimes think Redda makes these up each morning just to keep us all busy. Come back any time, my friend. Come. I have those if you want them. A solid purchase. I don't have an eye for these sorts of things.
Enjoy. This could be nice. Nothing more? I'll see you later, friend. Sips often. It helps the brew stay down. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You are stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The Picts were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Feravid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Faravid poisons the wine he gifts me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish black. He said they were for you. But I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Feravid asked for my silence, but Hafton expects the truth. If I am not careful, these lies will pile up one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. Faravid has planned an attack on the pigs at Magnus, without you. That twin-faced, backstabbing glory eater! When? Tell me. I won't know until we meet again at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch, she is kind. And... Huh. Perhaps you can speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donnecaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donnecaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Beonton! We're going for a walk down to the temple. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Hafton. Oh. 
My eyes soon. Moira is not here. Herbs for Moira's brew. Lavender, rosemary, all harmless. <gasps> this letter came from Wike. She must have gone there. I should go to Wike. Find Moira.
Stretch your wings. This house must be near. Welcome, welcome. Come see what I have. Can I tempt you with something else? Have you looked at... I must be on my way now. What's this ruckus? Stand back, Dane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Must be blocked from the other side. Look away again, and it will be the last thing you see. Moira, it is safe to go. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times, I thank you. And if I ask you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Hafton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Hafton, you mean he's touched in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton, what goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs, nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all.
need to row our way out. Sing, my ravens. You Salskjals got a story. I often wonder who deserves it. The largest cup of me that's a feast. Run up the sail! The Hulk got because she heals? The chosen dynasty of Styrbjörn's sons? Or Bragi who sits on a throne of his own here on this river steep? Should he get his hair before we all drink? Or do our lips all hit the mug at the same time? This brings to mind an old myth, no longer told, of Ola, the mead blood. What's got into this you? mead was too good. Always we'll pick up from there. Survey the area soon. Who's out there? Hafton. Good to find you here. The raven feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there were traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor! Search the perches and lookouts here. Could be spying from above. Olav, <gasps> speak to us. Where are you? <gasps> He's clinging to life. I should carry him down. I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. The Anton may track his attackers. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! These men you suspect of treason. Thieves who stole my war spoils. It looks abandoned. I... The trail ends, but nobody's here. Entrance. They might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. 
Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of Winter's Goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? Find a way through. Smells like a trap. Hey! Can't do this alone! Come! Help me with this! The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! Ah! I am beset on all sides, Eivor. ...by plotters and... ...schemers! What kings and jarls are not? Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you. Not willingly. <clears throat> She also said she'd seen your illness before. In her own family, she said it came on slow, but was... incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me! Shh! Listen! These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Careful here. Wolf kissed and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with meat. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. We stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was... That was Olaf? Damned fool. We thought he was a thief. 
The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit shining my silver. You, cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl, for battles won and blood let. Eivor, you tell him. They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity. So I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacasta, And I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it. Killed for it. Bled for it. If we don't get the glory... We deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Farrowhead killed this man. Not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> Forgive me, I... I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the walls. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Picheringo. Press him, Eivor. As hard as you can. Never let up. And bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Traitors, thieves. No right. They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yes. Fervent rat. Words of poison.
Show me. Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning this golden dream. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be. Ayal is owed the spoils of war to spend as he sees fit, so it has always been. That may be so, but Hafton hoards our wealth for himself, sharing neither gold nor glory. What is this place? I expected an army, ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Your horse can smell the ale dripping from your mouth. You frighten her. Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Jorvik? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishier. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishier and his feared, we'll finish them off. You would bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Jarl. Shh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. If they see me, this will get messy. Thanks 
I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine Let's since the Yuletide together. feast. One more reason to stick with Ale. I wish you all tied happened. Every You're not. Shall it the be a kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last time. Ugh. I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishie answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard. No. Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, king. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am... confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? To be clear, King Rishie, Hafton knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. But Hafton is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Without Hafton's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand? I should break your armors for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. Rishie is a Saxon puppet. 
He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse subjects. Fine. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Brisia will accept them. Fjord of Jorvik could help. Good. Fjord's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. about this land, my friend. You are better under Arden. Jord, this crowd won't listen to reason. Give us your coin, you bloody robbers. Jord, just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt, but you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. Fighter. Thank you, Ulfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Feravid made this plan, not Hafton. Does Haltan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't. But he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself to force Rishia's cooperation. You'll be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall after you have the documents. Come raise a cup! Eivor, join me for a drink. <laughs> 